all my new followers out there, hello and welcome. My name is Kai and welcome to The Painted Lily. Hello out there, those that are new, welcome to my channel. Those that are returning, hello again. So I got this bench, a bedside bench, or it can even be used as a dining table bench. I got it from a local auction a couple years ago, and so now I don't have any more space for it. Um, as you can see, there are a couple stains and marks on the fabric, which could be clean, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a brand new makeover. So I'm starting to go ahead and remove the screw so I can separate the cushion from the base. screws removed and I'm just separating the two pieces uh, one thing that I did notice was that this has already been redone but it's been redone in an improper way so we're gonna go ahead and fix that so in order to remove the staples I'm sure that you could use a stapler remover for me I'm just using a flathead screwdriver just to loosen them up and then needle nose pliers to roll out the staples from inside of the wood. So once I removed all of the staples, I could see on the inside that it was just placed a piece of fabric over the bench that was already done by the factory. So someone just added the fabric and then just stapled it on top, which is not what you wanna do because there has to be some type of batting attached to the fabric. So here is the fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just kinda of double checking the measurements just to be sure I did measure everything, but I want to triple check again to make sure it's going to be enough. So again, I am just applying the same technique of removing the factory staples. Now I was very careful to remove them properly because I want to reuse this backing. Now for this part, I don't care about the leather, that is going in the trash, so I am just um, hammering it down with a flathead screwdriver just to get the staples out as um, fast as I can, making sure to keep the, the flathead screwdriver straight so that I don't create a chisel into the wood, causing too much of the wood to be removed. As you can see, there is no batting. So I'll be going back to the store again to get some batting. In the meantime, I am just sanitizing the piece and I am going back and hammering in any extra staples that may have still been there. And of course, these are factory staples, so you don't wanna step on them. So make sure to clean up that mess. Thank you. 
Now when I got back, I realized, wow, there are a lot of holes in here. And that is from over stapling. There was the original staples plus more fabric added and more staples added. So I wanna make sure that there was security and that I'm not reusing those same holes when I go back to add in the fabric and the backing and the batteen. So I'm just going through filling up as many of the holes as I can, waiting for that to dry so that I can get to stapling. I'm just removing any fold lines on a low setting I'm ironing all right so with my first step I have my batting and I am just double checking the sizes making sure I have it in the middle because once I get to stapling I'm not trying to go back so the batting doesn't really pull too hard um, you can't really get it too tight so you want to try to get it on as secure as you can and if there are any wrinkles then just smooth those out and push those more towards the ends because the type of material, it will not fit on very snug. So I'm just removing any excess and then going back to cut off the excess from the back once completing my stapling. Step number two is the actual fabric. With that same process, you're going to staple all around. However, you will pull it as tight as you can to make sure it is snug. Okay, and I wanted to make sure to show the corners. You don't fold them like a blanket. You tuck each of the corners in, that way you have it smooth. Now, our final step, the backing. I'm just reusing that same backing, lining up the ends and the corners, and again, repeating that same process. Now that that's tucked away so I don't get any stains on it, we are on to the base. remember when you would spill water on your grandmother's coffee table yes how upset you would get that's as fast as you want to move on getting the water off of this real wood now this is after applying two coats of the easy off oven cleaner <music> I'll be using two colors today, Dixie Bell Mud Puddle, and then the next one I will be washing with a white. So of course you want to mix with three parts water, get to lightly adding that, and um, in the direction of the wood, wiping it back. And if you would like to know more about paint wash or color wash, you can take a look at my previous video. I have a full tutorial on how to whitewash furniture. And now I am completed 
two coats of lacquer. I love lacquer because it is not yellow. And then I'll just be adding the cushion back on top, screwing it in, and we are done. Thanks so much for making it to the end of my video. If you like what you saw or you learned something, go ahead and click that subscribe button, the like button, and also the notification bell. And if you have time, check out my Instagram. Here I have all of my work and all you have to do is click follow.